to be just be yourself and don't be afraid to show your personality because at the end of the day you're defining what classiness is when it been a few hours when it felt like days only been days but it felt like months when it gone for years Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Please do not mind my bedding in the background because it is laundry day. I'm doing laundry right now and it's not made. So please do not pay any mind to that. Um, but yeah, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my channel is all about self-love, self-growth and helping people to better themselves. And also my name is Miss Mookie if I haven't mentioned that. So again, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to become a classier you. So I just want to start this video off because I have been, I think I've been reaching people who are not necessarily in alignment with what I am trying to, you know, put out there on YouTube. So this video is for people that are focused on becoming a classier person. They are trying to just focus on this area of their life and romanticize their life in a way. So if you're not trying to do that, I, I, I love that you are trying to watch my video, but this video is not for you. I'm sorry. And I really do not like having to, you know, explain myself to people. Um, for these videos it's I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys i'm sorry like it's, it's just not for you <laughs> and we don't need we don't need all the extra comments and, and i know i say let me know what you think in the comments but like obviously i'm reaching a certain amount of people or certain people that are just this video is not for you because you're not getting it but anyways sorry about my little rant let's get on to the video <laughs> so first things first i just have to put that out there because i just wanted to you know just let you guys know you don't have to watch this i i just put this out there for the people that it's you know going to help like people who are looking to you know improve their life or improve their standards in life um or you know just raise their standards in life so if it's not for you if you're not focused on that please go find another video to watch so the first thing that we are going to focus on is enhancing your vocabulary so that you can become a classier person this is really important to me because i struggled with speaking to other people especially if they were new people like if i i'm the type of person that once i get comfortable around you then i can speak but i was so shy and so quiet because i lacked confidence when i spoke and for the longest time i didn't know where that was coming from and you know after doing the inner work i realized that that came from you know my childhood and my upbringing so i was very i lacked a lot of confidence when, when speaking. So enhancing my vocabulary and practicing talking really helped me to become classier. So this is the first thing that I want to share with you guys is enhancing your vocabulary. So I had to practice, you know, practice makes perfect. Like I love that saying because it is so true. Like you lack confidence in something because you don't know that you can do it. So when you practice doing something, you're telling yourself over and over again, I can do this, I can do this. And then you're able to see it as well. So you're putting action behind your words. So practicing talking, I love mirror work. I will sit in front of the mirror or do this right now, sit in front of my camera and talk to myself, to you guys. I will sit in front of the mirror and talk, 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 talk about myself, just talk about anything. And that really helps me want, just appreciate myself a lot more because I was somebody who didn't really think that I was pretty. So I struggled with that, but mirror work really helped me with that because I was able to look at myself in the mirror and see myself for who I really am and just grow more appreciation for myself as well as fall in love with myself. So I highly, highly, highly recommend mirror work. Go sit in front of the mirror and go talk to yourself because this is going to help you enhance your vocabulary. And I, I just want to say that this is important because being well-spoken can open so many doors. Like, I'm not saying this helped my case, but I like to think back on this memory because I've worked really hard to open up my throat chakra because I, I'm a, I'm a spiritual person if you guys don't know, but I opened up my throat ch chakra. I did, a, I put a lot of work into gaining confidence with speaking and just expanding my vocabulary, enhancing my vocabulary. So I like to think back on this memory when I was going to court uh, for custody of my son, when my ex and I, uh, my ex fiance and I split, we were going through court and one of the last judges that we had to go in front of he committed me on how well I spoke and I know it can be a touchy subject for um, some black people but it's not for me because I have put in the work to speak with the utmost classiness I don't know <laughs> so I really put in the work to just enhance my vocabulary enhance the way I speak so the judge said wow you speak you speak very well and I I did not have a lawyer in the custody case like I was representing myself and I handled that with the utmost dignity and I just I did this very well I ended up getting what I wanted but I really do believe that being well-spoken 
can open so many doors for you. So if you're somebody who struggles with, you know, being a well-spoken person, this is the time to work on that. Work on this. This is step number one to enhance your vocabulary. Also, what I like to do is um, challenge myself with the word of the day. I'm not super consistent with it, but I love the idea of being consistent with it. So what I do is just pick one word and I try to um, say it at least three times during the day. And <clears throat> it really helps me to enhance my vocabulary. I also would play this game. I forgot the name of the game, but I'll put it on here. Our brain is literally a muscle. And the way I like to think of it is we are exercising when we are, you know, thinking. <clears throat> so use your brain. And this game that I like, it challenges you with, you know, your vocabulary and it helps you to enhance your vocabulary. But also when you're working your muscle, your brain, it gets stronger. So the more you practice, the more stronger you'll be and the more well-spoken you'll be. And then you'll just enhance your vocabulary. So there's plenty of ways to enhance your vocabulary. I'm just naming a few things that I, that have worked for me. But if you need more examples or, you know, more things that can help you, let me know in the comments down below. I can definitely give you guys some more tips. Also, when you are speaking to people and, you know, speaking to new people was very challenging for me. Um, when you are speaking to new people, you want to choose interesting topics to talk about because if you're not, you know, if you're not talking about anything interesting, who's going to want to, you know, say, you know, within that conversation. So you want to choose interesting topics to talk about and not just talk about yourself. I see a lot of people like talking about themselves and I do that in my mirror work. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with talking about yourself, talk about yourself, love yourself. I wholeheartedly want you to do that but when you are talking to uh, people and trying to strike up a conversation with someone don't make yourself the main topic because it's not going to be a very meaningful conversation for the other person and it's not going to be a very long conversation where you're actually establishing a connection um yes people want to get get to know you but I'm just waiting because like what are we doing <laughs> yes people want to get to know you but they also want to know that you are going to, you know, put an effort to get to know them. So you find common things to talk about. Say, for example, you talk about something on the news. I don't recommend watching the news too much, especially right before bed. That's a whole other story for a whole other day. But don't consume too much news. But you can talk about, you know, hot topics within the news or what's going on within the world just to find that, you know, similar ground. Just to find that common ground so that you can establish a connection with the person you're talking to. That way you can have meaningful conversations. Because if you're just talking about yourself, it's not going to be fun for the other person. Nine times out of ten. Also, you want to be very careful when, with how you talk to people and how you talk about people. You don't want to talk badly about other people when you are bringing them up. If you are talking to someone about somebody else, you want to highlight their qualities because... It's going to make you look bad, one. And two, it's going to show your intelligence, your level of intelligence or lack thereof. People who are unintelligent or lack intelligence can only gossip when they're talking and can only talk badly about other people or, you know, talk crap about other people. And you want to make sure that you are not talking badly about other people. It, like I said, it makes you look bad. It makes you look like you're incapable of respecting somebody else. And... I don't know about you, but when I hear somebody talking badly about somebody else, I'm like, what are they saying about me when I'm not at the table? Like, make it make sense. Like, no, you look, you let, it makes you look bad when you're talking about your friends or, you know, people that you have connections with and you're talking about them in a very bad light. So when you are talking about other people, be careful, talk about them nicely, bring out their, qual their good qualities, not their bad qualities, okay? Especially if the other person doesn't know them and you're just like forming an opinion for another person, that's not okay. And then you want to be careful with how you are talking to people. Um, if you are talking about a touchy subject, don't project your emotions and your trauma onto them. And then also that leads me to the next thing. Don't trauma dump. Oh my God, this is so, <laughs> I really cannot stand people that trauma dump because it's like, you're trying to create a bond with me through trauma. That's not okay. But I really just do not have respect for people that trauma dump because it's like, you're talking about yourself, honestly. But I have met a few people where I tried to establish a friendship with them, but it was a very one-sided friendship because they were so focused on their trauma. So you want to do, you know, your inner work and heal before you can, you know, try to go out and network and make connections with people. Because if you find yourself talking about your life struggles, your trauma, it's going to, you're going to be seen as a downer. So just try to avoid trauma dumping and avoid people that are trauma dumping because it's not going to work. The next thing you want to do is learn social etiquette. So I love watching videos on social etiquette. I love learning the new ways uh, that I can look very classy going out. And social etiquette is a way, the, short, the, the for sure way to go out and look classy. So I like to stay up to date on dining matters. Is 
see. I like to stay up to date on dining matters and conversational skills. I consume a lot of content on TikTok where it's showing you up to date because these things can change, but it shows you up to date um, etiquette for when you're out dining. And I didn't know this before, but there is, there's different ways that people eat in different countries. Um, I knew this, but I wasn't like, it wasn't a big deal for me. It wasn't, you know, a concerning topic for me. But there's certain ways you would, in which you hold your your knife and fork when you're eating. I like to hold mine in my left hand and my fork in my right hand, so I can just pick it up and eat it. And then you don't put your fork down. That's the European vibe. And um, if you guys want a whole separate video, because I can talk on and on about uh, dining etiquette. But if you guys want um, a separate video, let me know down below. But um, yeah, I consume a lot of etiquette content especially on tiktok i absolutely love it but like i said i like to stay up to date and um for you, you all that don't know hopefully you do know but like don't hold your glass like this anymore you have to hold it by the stem but it's just constant updates for social etiquette so this is why i like to stay up to date with it and and uh just to name a few here they are um just the content creators that i do like to watch on tiktok where they just literally upload etiquette content so i also like to read and when i say read listen to audible books <laughs> on um on conversation skills so um some books that i like to read are how to make people like you excellent advice for living this is going to help you expand your social etiquette and just become a classier person the next thing on my list is to develop your personal style so what i had to learn how to do was stop dressing in trendy clothing stop dressing in the next trendy thing because what I found myself doing was purchasing a lot of items that I would only wear once and I was like I noticed it was a problem but I didn't know how to fix the problem nor did I want to fix it because I was like well this is gonna be cute on Instagram and this and that I had to stop that and I had to find my personal style switch out my entire wardrobe where I was I was able to keep some old pieces but majority of my wardrobe did of things that I could no longer wear um, so what I did was swap it out. I took it to consignment shops, secondhand stores, donated it, and just got rid of it. So I did that and I bought a lot of basic pieces that I could wear and switch out and, you know, style. Because I'm really big into styling, just basic clothing. And say for instance, this sweater. I can, I can pull out a number of ways that I can wear the sweater. So that's what I like to do with each item that I buy. If I cannot wear it in more than one way, I'm not getting it and this has helped me with my impulsive buying because like I said I was a trendy dresser like I wanted to stay on trend so I was impulsively buying like boom 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 like Fashion Nova that fast fashion oh that was my girl <laughs> I still like Fashion Nova but I'm not buying it if I can't wear it in more than one different way one way that you can find your personal style is find a celebrity that you admire or look similar to and copy their style um yeah you can copy their style and just make it cohesive make your all of your clothes look cohesive so that way it looks when i say cohesive i mean obviously i mean cohesive but i want you to not switch up your style is what i'm saying so i am a mood dresser so this part was really hard for me to make my my personal style cohesive like so i had to pick a specific style and i chose old money so i tend to dress in um older clothing so the old money is my inspiration i don't necessarily have a celebrity that i want to copy except for lori harvey because my venus is in capricorn and she is a capricorn so i'm supposed to you know dress as my venus sign for you know enhanced beauty and whatnot but you also want to wear things that make you feel confident so say you have a celebrity that you admire but like their clothes are just not making you feel confident or the way they dress their style just does not make you confident scratch that okay find what makes you confident and then find, um, basically create a line for yourself, a line of clothing for yourself that is cohesive. So your personal style doesn't necessarily switch up, but it's also going to make you feel confident because when you look good, you feel good. You're going to start radiating classiness. So also what I did was, um, I've been on Pinterest for years and I use Pinterest for this specific reason to find out what I'm going to wear. I did this with fast fashion. I changed up my style. So I will find looks on Pinterest and save them in my outfit inspo folder and then I'll just try to recreate those outfits with the basic pieces that I already have or if I need new clothing I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and say oh I don't buy clothing anymore I don't need it I have all the basics I need no <laughs> no I still buy clothing so don't get don't get it twisted I still buy the clothing but um you also want to find stores that sell the specific style that you're looking for and I am a creature of habit. I will literally shop at the same store for the rest of my life if I if I need to. Like if it has everything I need, why not? So I'm a creature of habit. I will sit here, find one store, and shop at that. 
but I do like to switch it up a little bit, so <laughs> maybe not a creature of habit for sure. So the next thing on my list is in order to become classier, you have to pursue classy interests. So this is my favorite part because I've always been this way. And when I was able to actually just, you know, fully pursue classy interests, it just made me super happy. It made me feel like my, I was romanticizing my life to the fullest. In one of my previous videos, I did talk about pursuing, ha um, pursuing interests that or hobbies that make you happy and I had to you know reach back into my childhood to think about what I did in the past that made me happy or the happiest recently got back into art I listen to classy music or classical music I actually like to play it in the background just so I can feel like I'm in a movie or something like I like to romanticize my, my life in that way so a classy um, interest or activity could be visiting a new art exhibit, going to a new art gallery, dressing up, going out on a solo date and just doing this by yourself. You can do it with friends too. Just go and pursue classy activities and interests and go visiting an art gallery or an art exhibit is one of those. Well, for me, um, other classy interests and activities are the candlelight concert, the opera, um, traveling to different countries ballets and even if you can't experience these because you know these things cost money um if you cannot experience these things then you can definitely just go on youtube go on tv go online and just look at these things i like to watch tiktoks on ballet or just have the ballet or a ballet playing in on my tv at night while i'm just chilling and you know reading or doing um an assignment or anything like that um play opera play the opera on your tv watch it like pretend that you're experiencing it i mean you are experiencing it but not you know you're not experiencing it live but it's still nice to you know see it at least and you can romanticize it this way so that way you're also manifesting to you know have that in your life one day so if you guys need more examples of what to do for classy activities and interests, I can make a whole separate video on that. Just let me know if you want to see that. And I can tailor it to so that you can do these things with your friends or solo. I'm so big on solo dating. So just let me know. I have tons of examples for what you can do to, you know, expand your, your, um, so you can expand your activities and hobbies and anything like that. So that way you can become more classy. But the point of it all is just to romanticize your life how you see fit. These are things that how I see fit to romanticize my life. Or, you know, even going to tea. Like, we have the Jefferson Hotel where I live. And me and my girl, we went to afternoon tea. It was so cute, classy. I, for one, was always the tea with the pinky up little girl with the <laughs> with the teeny tiny little teacup that fit two drops of tea but I would use water instead of tea because my mom wouldn't let me make tea. So I was always that type of girl. So that was one way that just, that was one way for me to, you know, pursue a classy interest was go to two and if you're on a budget like I said do these things at home on your tv I have a uh, Alexa <laughs> she's super sensitive when you don't need her to be but anyways I like to play jazz classical music or I have a um house music playlist that I can share with you guys I will literally just have it playing on her and just have it playing in the background have that background noise playing like it makes me feel like I am just so romantic so classy and it just puts me in that that mood like i'm that girl but i'm also chilling right now like i love it and like i said you can also just watch these things online and you can um look at pre-recorded virtual museum tours pre-recorded plays operas ballets you can watch it all you don't have to even pay for it i mean it's very nice seeing these things live but you can still watch it for free another way to become classier is to network with intention so this kind of goes back to expanding your vocabulary the way you speak to people once you work on that you will be able to network but you can also start to network with intentions when you do it this way so this is super important when you're making new friends meeting new people trying to you know expand your circle get a new job etc etc so this is super important to just make sure you're networking with intention so set your intentions before you go to a networking event or any type of event and you have to remember when you are going out to network or to meet new people be interesting and interested okay nobody wants to talk to somebody that's not interesting or interested in what they have to say and also don't be afraid to show your personality don't don't be like me and shy away from things that um when i was younger i used to shy away from so many things which made me feel like i was missing out and then i had this whole period of my life where i was going through promo because I, so I had to do any and everything just so i wasn't missing out and just catching up from on the things that i missed out and it made sense in my head but we're anyways we're moving on from that subject <laughs> so yes don't be afraid to show your personality your personality i don't care what it looks like it's classy to you so you don't have to be 
you know, legs crossed, quiet. You don't have to be. Just be yourself. And don't be afraid to show your personality because at the end of the day, you're defining what classiness is. These are my ways of how I became a classier person without changing my personality. So take what resonates and if it doesn't, if it's not something that you want to implement into your life, then leave it. Don't do it. Don't add it into your life. First things first, don't be afraid to show your personality. And I also just want to put it out there that when you are networking and networking with intention, it's not about who you know, it's how well you connect with other people. So you want to make sure you are connecting, you are setting those connections with people. And also what I like to do when I do meet people and I get their contact information the very next day, I want to let them know that I value their time. So I will sit there and I will send a text message or DM or whatever, however I got their contact information or whatever contact information I have, I will reach out to them and say, it was really nice meeting you. I had a really great time. Just letting them know that I value their time and I value the connection that has been established. And just remember to always put your best foot forward when making new connections. This is how connections are formed. So just don't be afraid to show your personality and put your best foot forward be the best you can be because this is what's going to attract people and then also just remember to be interested and interesting so like i stated in the beginning this video is not going to be everybody's cup of tea on my channel i'm really focusing on the femininity aspect of you know improving oneself if that even makes sense but <laughs> So like I said, this video is not going to be everybody's cup of tea and that's fine. I want to reach the people that are looking for this type of content and actually wanting to improve this part of their life. And if you're not, thanks for watching. Um, and if, you know, this video is not your cup of tea, again, thanks for watching. Yeah, like I said, this may not be everybody's cup of tea. This video is literally just for the people that want to become more classy. So that's what made me make this video today and that's all i have i really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to sit down and watch my video and listen to me chat i hope that my insight and tips help and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later